Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the Fey Navigator. And this is a bit of a two-in-one review. I've got the FY-804 quadcopter and the FY-805 hexacopter. And these are both uh, in the world's smallest category. Uh, so this is basically, you know, another one of these versions of the, you know, the same world's smallest that I've reviewed several different ways now. Uh, same size, it's not any smaller, but it is still that smallest size. And it stores inside the transmitter here. Um, the hexacopter, though, is the world's smallest. Now, there is no other hexacopter smaller than this or matching this. So this is in a class of its own right now. And that is that. That's the smallest hexacopter. And pretty cool that they've got the uh, different color props in the front in this one, whereas the quad is all black. I would have liked to see white props on that as well, but that's my personal preference. Um, the odd thing is that these are different protocols. Uh, so that's why I'm trying really careful here to keep my transmitters separate. Even though the transmitters look exactly the same, they are using different protocols, so I cannot fly you know, the hex with the quad or the quad with the hex transmitter. So kind of strange there. And then also because of that, they each have a little bit different flying characteristics as well. Uh, so I'll try to keep these separate there so I don't end up mixing them up. Uh, but we'll get into the details here. They each come with a USB charging cable and a screwdriver and a full set of props. Uh, so the quad has four black props. And then the hex has four black props and two white props, uh, but they are full sets each. Um, we'll get into the quad details first. Uh, it takes 15 minutes to charge, and you get five minute and five second long flights with a 10 second long LVC warning. Uh, you can recalibrate it by holding both sticks to the outside corners like that. Um, you've got two different rates, and the, you change the rate by hitting the left bumper, and it's got a pretty good uh, yaw rate, and it does change with each rate. And then you can do flips by hitting the right bumper and moving the right stick in whatever direction you want. Um, it has LEDs, so we've got red in the front and blue in the back, so um, not my favorite orientation, but at least it does have them. Um, and it also has headless mode by hitting the up throttle trim over here on the left. Um, and then when you're on high rates, the yaw kind of speeds up. It starts a little bit slower, and then as you hold it, it gets faster. Uh, so that makes it easier to, you know, if you're flying circuits and just do a quick turn, it doesn't spin out right away. So I, I like that. It makes it a little more controllable uh, for regular flying. Uh, so yeah, that covers all the details on the quad, so let me move my note over to the hex. Okay, so now let's look at this. Uh, so this one takes 21 minutes to charge. It may have a slightly bigger battery. Yeah, oh, it's definitely a bigger battery, uh, but you know, you're running the six motors. Um, so 21 minutes to charge, and you get 4 minute and 45 second flights with a 15 second LVC warning, so about 5 minute total flights. Um, again, you can recalibrate that one with holding both sticks to the outside corners. Uh, you change rates again with the left bumper. However, the yaw rate on this one, on low rates, it's a little bit on the slow side. And on high rates, it's too fast. It's just like a stunt yaw. So it's unflyable on high rates, but then a little too slow on low rates. So a little bit disappointing there on the yaw rate. Um, the right bumper again is for flips and then move the right stick in whatever direction you want to flip. Um, it again, it also has headless mode by pressing the up throttle trim. Um, and then let's look at the LEDs. So for the LEDs, we've got blue in the front, green on the sides, and red in the back, which is opposite. The quad has red in the front and blue in the back. So really weird that they weren't at least consistent with that, but this one does at least have the better color orientation that I like, and then having a different color on the side uh, may help keep the orientation a little bit, because these hexacopters, especially in the nano size, can be a little tricky for keeping your orientation. Uh, 
But yeah, I think that about covers all the details. So yeah, there's you know there's no charging off the transmitter, so you've got to use the USB cable and a power source. Uh, so you know I'd always like when they store in the transmitter, it's always nice when you've got the option of charging off the transmitter, so you can be completely portable and charge it on the go. Uh, but that's not the case with this one. Uh, but yeah, so I think, you know, I'll go ahead and I'll fly both of them. I'll just, you know, kind of get through all the things and do quick little flights with each of them. So let's go check that out. All right, this is the flight review of the Fei Navigators. Uh, we've got the FY-804 quadcopter and the FY-805 hexacopter. And these are both uh, the world's smallest in their classes. This is... Uh, the same as the other world's smallest quadcopters, uh, same size and basically design, but um, different transmitter, you know, still stores in the transmitter like the others. And then the hexacopter is the world's smallest hexacopter, and it is in a league of its own. There is no other uh, hexacopter this small yet, at least. And I don't think there's any other hexacopter that stores in the transmitter yet, either. Uh, so this one's pretty unique, uh, whereas the quadcopter, you know, has some competition. Uh, the quadcopter actually flies pretty normal, whereas the the uh, hexacopter has a really fast yaw rate on high rates. So it's kind of weird that they have different flight characteristics, and they also use different protocols. Uh, so you can't use this transmitter with the hex and vice versa. So you definitely want to keep track, if you get both like I do, uh, you want to keep track of which transmitter goes to which, because they only work with the uh, model they come with. So that's kind of strange as well. Uh, but we'll go ahead and fly both. So I'm going to start out with the quadcopter. Go ahead and get it turned on and bound. Alright. Go ahead and give this a spin. We've got red LEDs in the front and blue in the back. I think this only has two rates, if I remember. Oh man, I hit myself and then it knocked the prop off. Let me uh, put that prop back on. I got confused, it had the red LEDs in the front and I flew backwards right into my face. Ah, the red LEDs in the front always throw me off, especially when I've been doing a bunch of flight reviews and flying other stuff. So, yaw rate on high rates is actually really fast for this as well. I had forgotten that. But it kind of speeds up. It starts out a little slower and then speeds up. So, yeah, even on high rates, it's still... It's flyable, but you can end up over yawing. But if you keep it, keep it calm, it's doable. We'll go back to low rates. Low rates is definitely more flyable. All right, let's do some flips. Nice flips. Let's uh, put it back on high rates and <laughs> there's a funnel. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot that this one also had the higher yaw rate. I thought it was only the hex that did that. Alright, put it in low rates and take this one in for a landing and then take the hex for a ride. Whoa! Ooh, almost lost it down the side of the table there. Let's do one more go around and try to get a landing. week. Alright, well that's good enough for that one. Let me go ahead and put this back in the transmitter so I don't get them confused. It's a little bit awkward fitting them into the feet. There we go. Alright, now for the hex. Where's our on-off switch? There we go. Man, this has LEDs 
all over. We've got blue in the front, red in the back, green in the side. So whereas the quad had red in the front, now we've got red in the back. So I'm probably going to get confused all over again. I don't know what it is with consistency with these companies. All right, so low rates. There's our yaw on low rates, pretty slow, and then high rates, whereas it's like immediately fast, whereas the quad kind of sped up. This one is just immediately high rates. That looks pretty cool with the LED colors. Get a little funnel going. Oh, almost landed in the bowl. But yeah, this one's just really weird because the yaw is almost too slow. Well, not almost, it is too slow on low rates. And then it's way too fast on high rates. So this one's pretty hard to fly in a small space. That's about, that's full yaw. So that's like as, as tight of a banked turn as you can do with this one, really. But then if I go to high rates, Ah, oh gosh, which way? No, no, whew, that was close. Yeah, my instincts were off again with the red LEDs in the back this time and having just gotten used to them being in the front. But yeah, since this one just immediately is high speed, y'all, there is no, there I can do it just a little bit. If I just barely move the stick, you can get it to go a little slow, but then it's all of a sudden it just hits a point where it's just full of y'all. So it's not really very flyable at all on high rates unless you keep it really slow and precise on this left stick and then all of a sudden it spins out. <laughs> so let's go back to low rates. Let's do some flipping. Nice tight flips. Levels out really quick after the flip with those six motors. Really quick recovery. Yeah, that, look at how slow the yaw rate is on low rates. This thing is really weird. It's doable, but you can't get too fancy with it. Alright, well I think that was all there is to show with both of them. So we'll go ahead and take this in for a landing and wrap it up. See if I can do a little bit better with my landing this time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe not, jeez. I think I'm getting some ground effect from all the, the props off the uh, landing pad. Yeah, it's doing some weird stuff once I get close to the landing pad. Whoa! Oh, let's give her one more valiant effort. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of ground effect once I get over the helipad. It doesn't want to set down. Come on. There we go. Alright, well that was that. That's the Fei Navigator. Comes in a hexacopter and a quadcopter form. Um, quadcopter is more flyable but not as unique whereas the hexacopter is not overly flyable but it is so far the only hex this small so that does make it stand out from the rest although it's not really that flyable. Uh, anyway check the video description I'll have price and purchase links for each of them and I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.